So check it out. I just came inside the house. The guy sent me where the keys was at. Uh, and I just came inside, you know. And like I kind of already knew, it's definitely some foundation. Um, I mean, even as I turn around and look at the, if I don't even know power. Oh, yeah, we still got power, okay. But man, the door just looks like it's even off. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe because the, <clears throat> the trim or something is missing. But, yeah, no, I mean, I know it, it does have foundation. So, I'm actually going to call my guy and as you can see, just a lot of different stretch cracks. Um... I initially, myself, uh, the guy sent his numbers over. Like, he was asking one, uh, I want to say it was one. I haven't even looked at the master bedroom yet. He was asking 115. I ended up getting a deal, like I said, for 1075. Uh, and, uh, um, you know, I just told him his budget is way different from mine. But nevertheless, I mean, other the house is intact. I mean, uh, you can obviously tell that whoever it was just, you know, there was never any updates done, but the house was really um, nice and clean. I mean, everything seems to function. Everything seems to work. So um, I'm going to wait till I get back to my office, man. I really want to go through the numbers. Uh instead of just walking around. So I wanna give y'all my my thoughts on what I was thinking and why I done this particular deal and the best way that I think I can exit on it. Uh, now that I've been inside it and really see it, you know, it looks exactly the way it did in the pictures. Uh, it's just certain things like foundation, you can really never just tell until you actually get in the house and walk it to determine if it's really, really bad. But just seeing all the cracks and things like that. Uh, get, I'm going to get a foundation bid, see what my foundation guy thinks. And uh, ultimately, that will be the decision with what I'm going to do with it. Because the house is, is, like I say, I mean, it's, it's, it's decent. Uh, and that's the difference between making it a hotel uh, whether I'm going to finance it or whether I'm going to rehab it. Uh, ultimately, it's going to come down to my foundation bid. Uh, and, I mean, you can literally see, man, like, they just, uh, I believe the people passed away, unfortunately. Uh, and, I mean, we literally still got, you know, stuff in the cabinets. Cabinets are decent, you know, so... That just saved me literally two grand um, in cabinets. You know, Lazy Susan, Intact, you know. So I got a couple different options with this particular property. It's not going to be a home run. If I would have got it at the price they got it at, then I would consider it a home run because I know for a fact I can put it on the market and sell it for 130. I'm a, if you know, maybe even 140. Uh, now, and that would be as is. If I did own the finance, uh, fix the foundation, I would probably be asking 180. Uh, and depend on what else I would do to it. Uh, the comps in the area definitely is, you know, 180. Could definitely sell for 175, 180 easy. Uh, but like I said, I bought it for 1075. Um, let's see, this is the furnace. As you can see, it's fairly old, probably original. If not, uh, Updated maybe once. Uh, it's probably a late 90 model. Um, 
might be a 2000, I just don't know. But nevertheless, you can tell this is a... Yep, there you go. 10-4-96. JW. So it's a fairly old model. Um, I hate gas myself, so I don't even know if I would if I would use it. Let's just see another thing. Uh -huh. um, that's heat. That's heat. Okay. See if it come on. Nothing to it but to do it. So yes, man, I mean... Ultimately, it's a good deal. It's not a great deal. It's not a home run, but it was money to be made. That's why I contracted the property. That's why I purchased it. Uh, quick flip, make, you know, 15 grand, the same as a wholesale. You know, you, can do, you do incur the cost, things like that, you know, but strategic planning, strategic building, and, uh, you know, that's one of the things I look to do with it, you know, let my lender make a little money, my private money guy, you know, we just had a nice meeting, and, you know, he, uh, he agreed to, to do some untraditional things, and uh, so, this was our first one where, you know, I'm 100% full, full funding, no money out of my pocket, I did put up earnest money when I originally contracted the property, put up three grand. Um, and I'm gonna just sit down and see if this heat gonna kick in. Uh, put up three grand. And uh, so that was the money I had out of pocket. Uh, and essentially when I left closing, uh, the difference between purchase, closing costs, and things like that. Uh, the purchase of 120, the original funding amount of 120, it was a hundred forty thousand dollar loan, like I stated. Um, so I, I left the closing table with a check for seven, eight grand. So uh, I'll consider that. Seeing you know, and this is how I looked at this this whole situation. Uh, Put up three thousand earnest money, have out of pocket at closing uh, the the loan amount of one twenty uh, at funding. You know, still twenty grand left as, as far as if I want to use it for the rehab or what so far. Uh, so the difference between what I should have had funded at closing as opposed to what I'm getting back um, at signing. You know, the seven like seven eight hundred three grand out of pocket. So I would say this is a, a deal where with closing costs, things like that, initially it's, uh, I would say six grand invested in two. My three grand earnest money and the three grand difference between me buying it at 107.5. Uh, and I did a $2,500 assignment fee, another tactic that I used uh, just to uh, pull money out between my companies. Uh, another tactic, boom. Um, uh, so that was um, three grand out of pocket, out of pocket, and the three grand initially it was ten thousand dollars of from the one ten to the one twenty. That was uh, funds to get the rehab started. What I do with it, that's up to me. You know, still accounted for, still used. And whichever technique I use, uh, that's on me. Uh, so, uh, seeing that it was 7000 7800 7, you know, cash back to me at closing, I look at it as 3000 less than the full funding amount. So, I'm just saying, calling it one seventeen. So, the three grand out of my pocket, the three grand difference from... The 120 that was initially put up to purchase and rehab. Uh, so for six thousand dollars, now I have to determine uh, what strategy am I going to use. Uh, now, if I keep the the 7800 and just put it on the market for retail, uh, for a hotel type of deal, then 
you know, I'm gonna probably spend maybe a thousand bucks, uh, you know, getting the house cleaned out, or maybe I can leave the things in her as maybe just staging items. Uh, don't know yet. Uh, can leave them in her, kind of give somebody a good feel of what it what it would look like. You know, if I look, pull the carpet up, or you know, just leave it, you know. But there's things in the yards. I haven't been in the garage yet, so just assuming worst case scenario, a thousand dollars get the yard. You know, all the the bringing stuff out the yard. Put it on the market for 140. See what happens. You know, three percent commission if I go that route. You know, so we're looking at another. You know, 4200. Uh, so net. You know, closing costs, things like that, probably come down to 135. Uh, um, 132, something like that. You know, just depends. Uh, so now I got the difference between the 120, the 132, that's another 10, 12 grand. And I got the initial 7, 7,800, you know, that I took out up front. You know, from the 120, so that's another seven grand, depending on how much I spend to to uh, get it cleaned out. You know, utilities, different things like that. So that's why I say either way, it'll end up being a standard wholesale. It's not a crazy killer deal. It's nothing like that. Now I can invest the full twenty thousand. Let's just say I want to come in here and spend twenty grand. And I wanted to do this at my office so I would be stationary, man, not walking around and stuff like that. Because I really want to give y'all some good jewels. And as I'm walking, I'm thinking and, and stuff like that. And it, it's, you know, all over the place. But it's, it's real good content as far as how you can structure some of these deals. And, and just, uh, you know, having different strategies uh, that you can uh, utilize. So, um, on the finance, let's just say, for, for instance... Boom, I, I use the full 140. So uh, I got the 20 grand. Still got the 7,800 I took out at closing. So purchase price 120. I'm sorry, purchase price 110. Uh, and I'm going to use 20 grand to fix it up. Let's just uh, say the guy estimate, his estimate was five grand. Me being at the house and when I looked at the pictures, I originally, originally budgeted seven to eight thousand for the foundation similar houses i've done i've spent ten thousand on on foundation this one here it doesn't walk that bad honestly but just looking at the cracks man it's, it's it does let me know that we do got some some nice settling going on you know so uh i hope there's no interior pur. you know this could just be outer um you know, when you got a crack like that on this corner and then you also got a crack on that window, then initially I would think that this wall here is shifting down, you know, it's sinking. So, you know, hopefully that's not an interior pur that needs to be, you know, stabilized off in the interior and hopefully it's just exterior pures uh, that needs to be uh, done, which will save, you know, I know it for a fact, maybe a couple grand. So I initially originally budgeted for seven or eight thousand in foundation. So that's a big portion of the twenty thousand that I would put into it. Uh, what would I do with the remaining twelve? Ten to twelve. Um, we got one cabinet here that needs to be fixed. Well, I just spruce this up good clean and bleach down bleach it down it's going to come back perfect these cabinets are in perfect condition i mean one of my last rehabs i had similar cabinets i bleached them bad boys down put some new hardware on them had the granite and it looked perfect same thing i would do here i honestly i wouldn't even change the appliances because look at it this is this is someone who actually took care of the property uh, your grandmother, somebody like that, your great aunt, who um, just was a clean person. So, only thing in her, I might change the light fixtures. I don't even know if I would do that. Uh, I would honestly, it works, you know. 
but to give it that look, I might change it. I might spend, you know, $500 on some light fixtures. You know, I got some stuff in inventory, uh, some ceiling fan and stuff like that. So I'll probably literally have nothing to do uh, with that. Even, I don't even, maybe a coat of paint. You know, I could probably, I mean, obviously we're going to have to, you know, fix all the cracks. 1500 bucks maybe to patch all the cracks. Worst case scenario, patch two grand between drywall, painting, and uh, yeah. I don't see that being more than two grand. Worst case, uh, 22, no more than 25. That's just the interior. I would say another. 15, 1500 on the outside. We should be able to get that done. Um, so we got seven, eight, 12 less. 25 on the paint, down to 95. Uh, fixture 500, down to nine. You know, flooring. Uh, the square footage, so we got maybe, I'll probably spend 12, 1300 on carpet. Maybe, yeah, I would, I would definitely spend probably a good 13, uh, 1400 on carpet. I wouldn't come in here and put no fancy for just because it's not going to give me the return I needed to. And I'm, I'm specifically speaking on just a $20,000 budget. So, boom, come back, 1500 maximum on that. So, we're down about 7500 Um Hardware, kitchen, 100 bucks. Uh, um, what else would I do? One of the things, and I don't, let me check and see if heat is blowing. I mean, it's, it's warming up. It ain't just super doesn't seem but I mean hey it's it's working you know so hey we're not looking to do something crazy in here probably paint this so this will probably also uh, be done with the house I would definitely paint it make it look nice offset it with the carpet and uh paint the door so I might spend a little bit more when I think about it now fixtures uh, uh, electrical plates, socket plates, uh, get the, the old mini blinds, you're going to spend a couple hundred on that, so between all of that, all of those items, maybe an additional 500, literally one touch the bathroom, re it, I can get my guy out here to resurface this tub, make it look brand new uh, for a couple hundred bucks. Uh, if you pull it out, you definitely gonna spend minimum uh, fifteen hundred just redoing the tub, retiling and all that. Um, might put a, I mean, for a hundred bucks, I mean, you get a new toilet just to make it look more appealing uh, for the floors and the bathrooms. What would I do? I only got six grand left. I don't know if I would do anything, man. I might leave it up to them. I'll check and see if I had extra material left over just to kind of save money. Because one of the expenses that I, I foresee, uh, I might, I haven't been in the garage, but I know we might need garage doors. So I'm just kind of going back through it, man. And I'm going to do a better video with my exact plans uh, once I fully walk in with my contractors and see what they say. Uh, just to be, you know, just to update it. But buying it for one, you know, 110, putting the 20 into it, let's just say all together, one, 135, we're gonna hold 140. Now I have several different strategies to exit uh, retail. And this is why I say, you know, once you put it on paper, you'll really know. 
because holding for three months, 90 day uh, turnaround for FHA financing, um, rehab taking, you know, one month to, to do. Um, so holding costs and things like that. So you're into it for 140. At the end of the day, you're gonna have holding costs. All those things probably equal out to anywhere between 15 to two grand a month. So that's six grand, uh, literally just to hold it. Um, and then at that point, you know, uh, that 140 is now 150. You know, um, and selling it on the open market 180. You know, 4% commission, 180. You know, you're talking almost eight grand plus your six, that's another 15, you know. So even on that 180, you might, might come back at 165, um, you know, so. Uh, and then that's no closing costs and things like that. Probably another couple grand, you know, 162. Uh, uh, and that's the possibility if it in actually ends up being a, you know, 25, 20, 30 grand rehab. Um, so the retail, you probably walk away 10 grand. Uh, when it's all said and done, maybe, maybe 15, and that's if everything goes perfect. Budget, holding time, sale, et cetera, which, as I know in this business, that doesn't happen. Uh, so once you put it on paper and you really sit down and, and uh, match it up line for line, profit-wise, you, you know, at that point, I'll really know which strategy I can utilize. I don't foresee me being able to uh, not get up out of this one with a profit, whether that's five, ten grand. Obviously, the the more the better. But um, uh, I felt good about the deal just from the pictures, so that's what made me move forward. And uh, y'all just stay tuned, man. A lot of yapping, yapping, yapping. No capping. Just uh, trying to. Give some insight into why I purchased this one, even though the margins were slim. I do see an exit. And one thing about it, when you have three, four, five deals going on, uh, you know, it might, at the end of the day, you say over a three month period, if it goes that long, you know, and this deal only makes, you know, 14 grand, you know, 15 grand. So you made five grand a month. You know, um, when you break it down over average, you know, five grand a month. Well, you just factor that in over four deals, you know, each producing five grand. Some going to be better than others, 10 grand. So, you know, that's why I don't, I'm not opposed to the smaller deals because at the end of the day, they will sell. Um, if you buy them right, you can't lose. And, um, uh, Having multiple going on at different times, you know, always helps to offset. Um, and at the end of the year, you know, you tally them all up and uh, you should have a good year. But um, if this was the only deal I was doing, I probably wouldn't have bought it at this price. Uh, but having multiple deals going on, worst case scenario, three, four grand a month, money sitting there have an opportunity 100% funding like it, it's just you know hey it just adding you know another piece another piece you know another drop in the bucket so stay tuned man I'm gonna update it I'm gonna probably come back edit I'm gonna go back through it I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean up all the things that you know give it more definite uh, I mean it's just you know man there's no filter there's no uh, script, you know, I'm just sharing my thoughts. It's all over the place. But at the end of the day, I'm here to give you the inspiration that you can make money in this business. Uh, and, and yes, there's no money down techniques. But then once you get to a certain point, uh, you know, the better relationship, like my lender will probably, you know, make, you know, the same amount of money I make, you know, depending on which strategy I go with. 
that's possible. Uh, but trust, uh, building that trust, you know, strengthening the relationship, and um, you know, ultimately that's what it's about. You know, if I didn't have that relationship, I'd be out of pocket going through a hard money lender. At least minimum, I would have at least twenty grand out of pocket on this particular deal. So. Uh, only thing so far I've, I'm out of pocket is three grand, and that was my earnest money, um, and uh, I received that back, twenty five of that back, the way I structured the deal. So, uh, and that was through the assignment, me buying it at one hundred seven five, doing the twenty five hundred dollar assignment through another entity that I own, and purchasing the property from one ten. Uh, and then structuring 120000 at closing funding. So minus closing costs and all that, you know, walked away with another, got the 2500 assignment fee plus the $7,800 um, additional funds left over after, you know, funding the deal. Then still have another 20 reserves with the lender uh, in case I want to rehab it. So uh a lot of information man a lot of back and forth back and forth but i guarantee you it's good content man it makes you wonder it lets you think uh it helps you to to determine uh if you don't hear different scenarios it's kind of hard for you to envision like how to structure certain deals so uh you might have to go back listen to it go back like you know but that's why i say i want to clean it up so uh, but I'm just giving it to you as I record it, as I, as I, you know, walk through my thoughts, my words, and um, hopefully it's something that you can relate to, man, and, and just know it's possible. Uh, and if you have any comments, man, if something doesn't make sense, hit me up. I would definitely explain it a lot clearer and a lot more crisp uh, with the details. And, uh... Let me know what you think, man. It's your boy, my job, Vernon, Jai, aka Mr. Money Man, aka I do real estate, aka I'm an entrepreneur. Just chilling, man, in my latest rehab, my latest flip, my latest hotel. I don't know yet, but uh, I guarantee you it'll make some money, man. Like, comment, subscribe, and share this to somebody who say that it's not possible. You're looking at a one-time felon, man, high school dropout, uh, but I've always been a hustler. It's your boy. Peace out.